What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle where unfortunately this is Dust Bowl and I've got some explaining to do. Well, the unfortunate part is more on the half, the back half of that sentence. The front half, perfectly okay. Dust Bowl is a fun game and I like it, whereas the back half, I accidentally overwrote our save. And so while we play, you might notice some light discrepancies in between the gear that we have and like the random stuff that's just like sitting around. I did the best I could. We're only like 10 minutes into the game, so it should work out perfectly fine. You haven't missed anything. Nothing was lost. It's just the loot is different that's in our inventory right now. So with that being said, you cannot, you would not believe how big of an idiot I felt like when I overwrote the save. I was just like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? It was... It was a moment, so we've got ourselves a greeny meanie over here. A greeny meanie with a tiny beanie who can summon tiny genies. Are they also greeny? They're the smallest that I've seen. -y. Oh, well. I think it should only take us three crits to get through this guy, but welcome back to Dust Bowl. In today's episode, if you did not know the story that had transpired while you were away... Oh good, he gave us some cloth. That's pretty cool. If you didn't know the story that had transpired while you were away... We actually had been tasked by our boss man to come down in here and get a few fuses working. I guess you could say a fuses. F-E-W-S-E-S. -E -E There's multiple fuses we got to take care of. And so, let's go ahead and see if we can track those down. I think we've already got two of them in our inventory. Ah, that didn't count. I was hoping that it would, but it didn't. We are taking a little bit of damage right now, which I find to be concerning. Now, this dungeon right here, my actual estimation is that maybe we should bail out on this one. Some of the stuff in here is seeming like, ah, there's a key in the drawer. I'd better take it. Good. That was a little bit weird. Nothing useful in here. Station reports, train maintenance logs, and other useless papers. That's offensive to the paper. I can't get any of the drawers open. It must be locked. And so can I use the... Hold on. Where's the key at? So we've got the key. Where is that hiding? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we'll use the key on the filing cabinet. I can't use it this way. Hold on. Did I mess that up somehow? I can't get any of the drawers open because it's locked. So it doesn't appear to work that way. I wonder what that key goes to then. Well, let's go back. Oh my god, we are just getting really, really bad RNG right now. Lots and lots of mobs around. I actually think the game is combat heavy. I think the game is very combat heavy, and they would actually have a more enjoyable gameplay experience if there were less fights. Thus far, it seems like almost every single time you transverse a room, you've got to do the combat. And given the fact that the combat is overly simple to, like, almost a fault... I think they should have limited combat. Combat should have been a risk versus reward thing, whereas, as it stands right now, they seem to throw a lot of combats at you that are just kind of, like, unnecessary, I suppose. Like, you don't feel like you have to do any of these combats. Sometimes I find myself, I'm playing along in another direction as well. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like, meh, when I get to some of the combat. And so maybe that's just me. I don't know if anybody else has felt the same way. We actually do not have a whole lot of healing items right now. Which is bad. We have a med kit. So I'm thinking what we should do right now is that we should bail out of here and come back once we're better equipped. I bet... What's this right? Wasn't this locked or something? It was not. There's a medical box over here. Let's get elbow deep in that. Unfortunately, we just got more... What was that actually? What did we just pick up? What was that? Anti-poison. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful. But... Maybe we can sell it when we get back to base. That's what I'm gonna do. Anti-poison. I apologize. We can't be friends right now You've got to go back to where you came from But yeah, I think we should bail out on this place just because it seems like we're gonna be a little bit low on ammo And then B this place is actually fairly expansive which makes me think we want to come back once we're better equipped Maybe once we've got like a 22 pistol or something That's a little bit more effective like some like a 38 or a 9 millimeter because this ball bearing firing gun right now Makes me feel very very nervous about our long-term survival prospects. We got Claude right here. Did we ever go in that door right there? I might check that door real fast instead of just like instantaneously bailing out. Our health is a tad low and we have no healing items though, so avoiding combat is gonna be our best plan for right now. We can only get 10 health back. We have a blood pack down in the bottom of our inventory, but that's seriously the only thing that we have right now. And so I think... Fall down. There we go. Oh, he dropped band-aids right when I said that I needed it. So because he dropped band-aids, what I would do right now, let's take these, let's get our health as high as possible just in case there's a fight in this room. I do wish that you could maybe shift click these off, I don't know, it would make it faster. Can you control click them? Can you right click them? Can you out click them? No. I'd actually like to see a shortcut put in where you could do that a little bit faster. We got a frozen blood pack. I don't know what benefits that's going to have for us. Maybe it counteracts some kind of status effect, I don't know. 
Ah, we got the first fuse box, and I think we have the red fuse. Yes, there it is. And so the first generator is now online. We got the box of bearings right there. Open up the locker, get some more sodas. We got a jerry can over on that side. We look like we have like a Bomberman bomb on that second shelf. What is that? Oh, it's a medical kit. Okay. I'll take a med kit. Yeah. I really don't know if I should stick this place out or go back to base and just see if I can make do. I think your hunger and your thirst fall off a little fast, too. I mean, I get the thirst. Thirst is actually a really big deal, but hunger is almost never a big deal in life. Like, being hungry sucks, but being thirsty is definitely, like, a principal concern. Much like my days spent in elementary school, I had a lot of principal concerns when I was younger because I was always up at the principal's office. It happened constantly, seriously. I was a trouble child. It was a mess. I don't know why my accuracy is off today with the little bar, but it is. Luckily, it appears as though his accuracy is even further off, so I don't even care as long as his is bad, too. He's got one more hit left on him. He got four on us. Luckily, he didn't crit too much. I think the game patched because I've noticed the enemies actually miss a little bit more right now. I can't say 100% that that's what happened, but it kind of feels like it. We'll go back up the corridor. And yeah, I think I'm going to bail out for right now. This seems like it's a little bit risky. Let's go back to the waste. And what I want to do, we found a tent. Okay, that's cool. What's in here? Just one soda? A lonely soda? I'll take it. I don't want to leave it all by its lonesome. I enjoy soda. If my commentary is weird today, or it gets, like, too outlandish, or it gets just too quiet, it's because I was basically up all night last night with the kitten, unfortunately. The kitten is a lot younger. I actually, I got to take it to the vet, finally, and the vet actually said that it's six months old. It's nowhere near eight, I'm sorry, it says six weeks old, not eight weeks old, which really explains the sheer amount of just, like, babysitting I've had to do the entire time. And so, unfortunately, because he's so needy, it's definitely turned into one of those things where it's almost like raising an infant, where, I guess you are, if you really wanted to extra, there's a glass bottle right there. Hooray! I guess you are, actually. I don't know. Hold on. What was... No, go back out that way. Go that way. I gotta hit the button again. Go out that way. I want to talk to this guy real fast. Do we talk to this guy already? Hello, young one. I'm Shields. I work in the hydroponics center. How are you? You see my father go through there? Yeah, I don't know him well, but he came armed to the teeth of the group of rookie militia. Did he say anything at all? Where was he going? Your father was always a man of few words. He simply wished me a good day and climbed to the surface. I thought your father was no longer a member of the militia. Okay, well, I kind of like the portraits. The pixel art, I've been very hit or miss on pixel art over the last couple months, just because I think it's starting to get overdone. Let's give him some bunnies here. And where did you put them down? About your bunnies. I found two rabbits, and then the third one was actually pointed out by you, the viewership, in the comments. So it's going to be down this way. Let's go have a look at that real fast. And I think it was on the third floor. It was wherever the bar was. Wherever the bar was was where we could find this. And so maybe it was on the second floor. There it is, the waypoint. The waypoint. It's going to be on this side. There we go. We'll grab the bunny. It's actually the same color as the wall back there. It's very, very difficult to distinguish. I don't know how some people saw that. Like, seriously, y'all are far more astute than I am because right now... When I saw that, like, I went back and I watched the footage after you told me, and I was like, oh my god, that's, like, invisible right there. Let's see, I think I... Can I help you with anything? You don't look like you have green fingers to me. I can't risk losing a harvest to inexperience. I'm in the hub militia. I can come and go from the hub as I please. Really? Well, now that changes things greatly. I have a couple of jobs, and they're both incredibly important. What's the first one? The first job is vitally important. Since the earthquake, we've lost water to this section. Without it, the crops will fail, and that would be a disaster for the hub. What do you want me to do? Look into restoring the water flow. Investigate where the quake did most of the damage. I really need your help on this one. No one else seems interested. Okay, and we get a med kit, and we get some anti-poison, it looks like. Sounds good to me. Let's ride on out. But yeah, some people said they didn't like the portraits. I like the portraits. They remind me of the portraits from games back in the day, like Soldier of Fortune on the Sega Genesis. Or it reminds me of the portraits they had back in, like, the old Mission Impossible or whatever games on the NES. I don't know. It's nostalgic for me. I don't know if some of the people that don't like the graphics weren't there, or maybe they just don't like it, but I don't know. I'm okay with the portraits. The rest of the game is definitely a little bit sketch, but we could buy tourniquets. So I noticed a thing while I was playing. If you just recycle these right here, you see how the prices change? You can actually just re-haggle over and over and over again for better prices. The sale prices, however, seem to be the same. So I don't know exactly how that goes. I'm actually going to sell off. We don't need that much anti-poison. So I'm going to sell off a bunch of those so that we can make a little bit of scratch. How much do we have? 125? Good. Fantastic. The bottles, let's hold on to those for a minute because I don't know exactly how I'm going to use those. And I want to make sure that all my craftables get done before I sell anything else. 
But for now, I wanted to show you this. I mean, if you're really struggling with the game, this would be kind of a little hacksaws, I guess, that I would recommend using to fix yourself. So what you can do here is you can click on this multiple times and eventually the ball bearings will land on one or at least maybe they patch that there it is right there and so when the ball bearings land on one what you might not notice is if you click a whole bunch of these and then you go back and you come back in you can actually sell let's see here you can sell the ball bearings for two and so you can actually farm out money that way if you wanted to it's a little bit skeevy but if you're struggling with the game and you don't know what to do and you're really having a hard time I would recommend it's better than starting the game over in my opinion so I would just do that real fast I think you could do it with some of the other stuff too not the tourniquet necessarily did I get everything while I was here I had to re-roll and like redo everything so I may not have grabbed everything that was down in here that door is stuck this door over here no it looks like I got everything from the base good every now and again when something goes wrong like this like I have no idea just what I was doing. I wasn't paying attention and I overwrote something that I shouldn't have. I can't pick up that bottle, can I? We'll go down to the fourth floor. And actually, no, I wanted to craft right now. Let's go back and let's do some crafting, shall we? So back up on the third floor, we go to the workbench and let's see if we can get some work done. We can make bandages because we have rubbing alcohol and we have rags. So how much rubbing alcohol do we have out of curiosity? We just have the one. And so realistically, I could actually make a medical kit with all of those things right there. And so that's what I'm going to do because it allows me to make something a little bit more valuable out of some of the parts that I have. And then since I don't have any syringes left, I can make a tin grenade. I can make a multi-tool. I think it would be wise to make a multi-tool because we use those to unlock doors. And then over here, you can make a repair kit, which I have no idea what a repair kit's for. So I'm not going to build one until I exactly know... Let's get a band-aid right there. I thought that band-aids, the bandages actually only took rags. It's unfortunate that it takes so much to get those done. A little bit disappointed. So we got two band-aids, two med kits. We're looking okay. Got two multi-tools. I think a good plan right now would be to use those to unlock some of the like extraneous, like random stuff that's around the base. So let's go down to here. And I know that there was one locked in the back room over here. I'm hoping we get something that we can vendor for a lot of money, maybe out of the multi-tool. The multi-tools cost like 150. So as long as you get more out than you put in, it's okay. There's a repair kit and $50. An armor repair kit. So the armor repair kit in and of itself I think is worth 147 and then the $50 to put it up to 200 I'm glad to see that the developers thought about that because I can't tell you how many times in indie games like the amount that you put in does not equal the amount that you put out and it's just disappointing. I don't know. It's not fun. And there's also a locker in here. And that needs a multi-tool. And so I don't think Reigns will miss a few grenades. And so we got concussion grenades, which I think are worth 50 bucks, and flashbangs that are worth 50 bucks. So we made a 50 buck advance right there. Those are actually holdout weapons. If you're really, really desperate in combat, you could throw a grenade, and it'll actually clear out a lot of the mobs, or at least it'll allow you to get ahead of the damage curve a little bit if you need to. I don't know if I had mentioned it before, but Hunter! The area is still dangerous. Can I help? You're in the militia, son? I'm a new recruit reporting for duty. Well, that makes you an asset rather than a waste of my time. What did you just call me? I sent a unit into that hellhole, but we lost radio contact 20 minutes ago. One person might be able to sneak through and search for survivors. I'm listening. What do you want me to do? I want you to locate my missing unit. If they're all gone, I want their dog tags, then report back. You up for the job, son? So he's going to give us a gun, and then we also get a good med kit and some 22 rounds. So we need to go find his missing unit. We started out looking for Cox. We looted out of a long unit, and now we're listening... We're looking for a missing unit. There's a lot of Freudian humor in this game. We'll go back up to... Actually, I don't think we need to... Let's go back this way. I don't know what, like, lacking sleep does. Haven't really seen anything indicative as to what that affects. But it seems to be okay. I'm gonna drink some water real fast. And we'll eat some food. There's gotta be... I bet we can cook that somewhere. It says it's a raw leg. I'm wondering if we can get that cooked up somewhere. Might be kind of cool. We still got old tools laying around right there. We've got dubious water. Be careful about the dubious water. It has a random chance to give you an infection or poison you. And so that can be a big, big issue if you're not ready for it or you don't have the proper items to get rid of that status effect. We'll go right there. Let's eat up all of this right now. Yep, how many rats can you eat in one sitting? The answer, five. Five rats. Let's go into the cave entrance. Ah, we got a beetle on our first go. That's not good. Beetles, actually, the reason that I dread beetles is because they can poison you. And then B, the second half of that, 
is that Beatles also have an insane amount of HP, or at least they did. I don't know if they've been touched up. The game appears to have gone through some changes since I played it like four or five days ago. And so th I've noticed that the mobs are missing a lot more, and they're hitting for a little bit less. And so I think they might have gone through and tailored some of the combat to be a tad more forgiving in the early game. However, the reason I dread Beatles is because they poison you, which means that you got to spend a lot of money to get rid of said poison. And then they've also got a lot of HP, which means you can actually soak up a lot of bullets trying to get rid of them. And then they very, very rarely give you loot that's actually worth taking the time to kill them. These guys right here aren't too bad, except that they get the jump on you. I think they can also poison you. But on the plus side, they die really quickly. So I think they only take two shots, maybe. I've played around with shooting different body parts, but it lowers your chance to hit by so much by making the brackets so little and tiny that I actually struggle with it. He got me with a special right there, but it looks like we resisted or something, maybe. 41 barrels. Oh, actually, did his health get touched up? I remember these being a little bit squishier. I could be wrong. Okay, and he dropped a bunch of rags, so that's all right. Let's go back to our pack right now. This is why we want to make sure that we have lots and lots of medical stuff around. I'm going to use you. And then use the two of you. There it is. And so in here, we'll have a pump. And if we repair that, it's an irrigation pump. It pulls water from beneath the ground. The quake seemed to shift one of the gears. It should be working now. And then we'll check this. And there's one of the dead vanguard. Looks like the soldier was chased into this dead end. I better take his dog tag. It looks like he's half the man he used to be. All right. Oh, green beetle right there. Grab you real fast. Nope. Emerald bug, come here. Gotcha. Now that we've taken care of the emerald bug... Ah, we got him again. He regrew already. But yeah, I would say that there should actually be an internal cooldown. When you've already cleared... Basically, when you go into the dungeon, it should decide where the monsters are. And once you've killed the monsters, they should no longer respawn. Now, given the storyline of this area, this is a new breach. And supposedly, there's monsters flooding in, so it sort of makes sense. But just in terms of, like, how much repetitive combat there is in the game, I don't know. I find myself every now and again... And don't take this as, like, me just bitching and moaning, because I think this is actually constructive right here. Given the sheer amount of combat... If the combat had some level of sophistication or complication, I would say, eh, it's fun to do. But as it stands right now, the combat is basically you just auto-attacking each other to death until somebody either runs out of ammo or can't keep swinging anymore. And so that being said, there's nothing that determines whether you dodge. There's nothing that determines whether you avoid damage or anything like that aside from the fact that it's RNG. And so... A system like this, I think, is the weak point of the entire game. I actually think the combat is the weakest point of this game in a game that's otherwise fairly strong. And so, the thing that I take away from that is that if I was, if it was me, I'd be hiding the combat as much as possible. This is me personally, knowing full well that it's the weakest part. So we've got another med kit. Let's drop that on in real fast. Let's make sure our health stays nice and high. This will go southwards. We've got a odd red bug. Come on, a little U. I like little U's. They're way more adorable than capital U's. Over here we got another dead guy. He's the point man. This poor guy was torn in two by something. I should take his dog tag for a hunter. Well, I guess you could say he had to make a split decision. Eh? If we follow the pipes in here, we should be able... There's another guy right there. All right. I think I'm hoping we can get out of here. There's only two pumps we have to fix, I think. And so muscle memory is coming back. I'm shooting these guys. I played around in my alternate playthrough where I'm playing on my own. And I am playing this game on my own as well. And it doesn't seem to do much to target the head or the arms or anything else. And you'll just have to take my word for it because I've been doing it in my other playthroughs just to test it out. Because a lot of people were like, why aren't you aiming for different body parts? And I was like, well, I don't feel like it does anything. And thus far, I've found zero enemies that it did better. And so we fixed that pipe right there. I'll take his dog tags back to Hunter. What a waste of a life. What happened to him? Well, it looks like he's regurgitating spaghetti. He's a big fan. He had That's what happens when you have spaghetti before you go out into battle. A large crevice. A fracture. What is this? Huh. Alright. Well, let's go back. And hope for no fights. Cross your fingers. I would prefer to avoid wasting the ammo. Okay, we're looking good right now. Very, very nice. Oh, we might actually get out of here without problems. Cool. We made it out. So let's go ahead and talk to Hunter real fast. About the missing unit. You're back! Any news about my missing squad? They're all dead. God damn it. All of them? Lost? Moore's gonna pay for this. What do you mean? What does Moore have to do with it? He ordered us to preserve the cave system for hub expansion. Well, Moore can go to hell. What do you plan to do, Hunter? 
I have a plan. Trust me. Come back if you want to finish the job. You done good, kid. All right, so there it is. We got ourselves some new weaponry. Let's go ahead and try it on for size. So this does 6 to 11 with a 17 crit. Oop, doesn't do that. I got to do this right here. This one right here does 10 to 15 with a 19 crit. So as far as critical hits goes, it's not that much better. But in terms of the basic damage, it's almost twice as good. That's a pretty good gun right there. It's going to take care of business for us, I think. And I would prefer to keep it locked and loaded. Now, the ammo is a lot more expensive. And so the decision that we have to make when we use that pistol is whether or not it's worth the expenditure. Let's see what he's got. Let's finish this. There must be a place within the cave system where mutants can wander in. We're going to plug it with C4. What about more? Shouldn't we run this past him first? I lost a lot of good men trying to preserve this area. Friends, more can go to hell. We're blocking that hole. Speak to Reigns at the armory. He'll have C4, and once you have the C4, head into the cave and locate the weak point. So we get a nade. We get... Hunter's asked me... Okay, we get a little bit of ammo, and we get a med kit. All right, sounds good to me. Let's go take the Reigns here. Let's see if maybe we can get some C4. Hey, kid, you're still in one piece, huh? You here for more training? Nah, I need an explosive pack. C4 is a rare munition. You think I just hand that out? It's important. Hunter said you'd give it to me. I don't hand out my goods for nothing. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. But I bet your back's greasy. You wear a tech vest. I don't know. It's for the good of the hub. Oh, don't pull that crap, son. I've done more for the hub than anybody. Besides, it's all good for the hub. So, are you interested or are you yellow? Well, as you can see from my color, all of us appear to be sort of reddish, so... What's the job? It's simple. I'm always looking for fresh toys to stock the armory. Rumor has it you're hitting the subway. Places like that have security rooms. Security rooms hold serious hardware, and I want what's there. You want me to grab the goods and bring them back, yeah? You're learning. Take that multi-tool. It'll crack through any lock. Use it to get into the weapons locker. But beware, it's a one-use tool, and then it breaks. Yikes. I feel sorry for a man with a one-use tool. Let's go back over here. And we need to drop off. Did I drop off the other bunny? I did not. So let's do one thing at a time. Let's go back up to the top floor. I'm going to drop off the bunny first. Once the bunny has been left with Marky Mark, we should be able to talk to the rest of the funky bunch here. About your bunnies. Have you found them? I won't be able to sleep knowing they're lost out there. Yeah, that's all of them. Yay, that's all of them. I never thought you'd find them all. You're my hero. Bunnies! That's okay, Marky. Next time, keep a close eye on them. They might hop off again. I will. Thanks. So we got a chocolate bar. That's pretty cool. The chocolate bar will help out with our hunger a little bit in the future. I do think that we have quite a few. Hey, what's up, Mr. Kitty? Hey, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Just like hanging out for a second? Just chilling? He's investigating. My older cat has been trying to assassinate the kitten all day. He's not a fan. He despises the kitten. In every sense of the word, he is not a fan of the kitten. He wants to destroy it. So with this old cooker, I've got nothing to cook. So can I drag and drop here like a point and click game? Ah. So what does that do? Oh, it turns it into 15 food. Okay, so now we're in business. I wonder if it multiplies the value as well. We got raw mystery meat. Yeah, cook it up. Cooked mystery meat for 25. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we're in business. All right. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. I want to get rid of our tiredness debuff before we leave again. Looks like we lost a bunch of hunger right there. We should be all right. We got, like, plenty of random stuff to stock up with, and that allows us to heal up, which is good. My guess is that they made it very, very difficult. Let's see. Get after some of these sodas here. My guess is that they used... So the reason you lose so much thirst and so much hunger every single time that you rest, my guess is that's to stop you from spamming resting so that you just don't, like, heal yourself up to full every five seconds. I don't know. We got ball bearings, we got that right there. 44 rounds for that. I think we're looking pretty solid right now. I think I'm happy with what we have. I do think we should buy some medical supplies before we go back out. It might be the better call. Maybe. God, I don't know. What can I afford to get rid of? So we got a cigarette box. That's worth one. All right. So I guess we'll get rid of you. I'm going to keep the tin cans because they're only worth one. And we can make explosives out of those if we had the right stuff. The bottles appear to be junk loot, maybe? Like, they look like they're just trash loot. I haven't seen Molotov cocktails or anything in any of our workbenches, so... I would assume that there's a jerry can, and there's a bottle, and it would be a rag after that, but... There's nowhere for me to actually, like, combine these things. I'm still tired? Really? Oh. Well, I guess tiredness does not get healed by getting a good night's sleep. 
I suppose that'll do it. I mean, there's not really much I could do to fix that right now. There's dubious bottled water right there. We fixed the main, so I think we probably should go back and talk to what's her name before we take off the lady with the green thumb. But for right now, while I head back down there, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dust Bowl. I do hope you're enjoying the series. I realize this is probably not everybody's cup of tea, but I wanted to play it because I liked it. And so there it is. I'll see you on the next episode. Hi, do.